Hey there, what's up? I'm here to help freelancers and moms just like you who are looking to make some extra cash by turning your basic Canva skills into a thriving business. If you have expertise that you want to sell online to generate passive income, let's get ready because we're going to go ahead and dive on in. So number one is to offer courses and or tutorials. So if you have skills to share, creating an online course or tutorial is an excellent way to generate passive income. Platforms like Skillshare and Udemy allow you to upload courses and for you to earn extra money every single time someone enrolls into one of your courses. You can teach anything from basic design principles to advanced techniques inside of Canva. If you prefer a more controlled, more uh, hosted, self-hosted option, then you can look at platforms such as Kajabi or Padia. I like Kajabi and both Padia because both of these platforms provide you with a really simple and easy way to upload your course content and also get paid for your uh, information, right? So it's super easy for you to use. This way you retain a larger share of the profits and you can manage the customer experience fully. What the difference is between these two is that with Udemy and Skillshare, you have a built-in audience. That means you don't have to go out and really necessarily promote a lot because the audience is there with their dollars in hand waiting for you to basically show up and say, hey, take my money, right? So the audience is already there. It's really, really similar to like selling on something like Amazon, which we'll talk about in another video. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe and like this video because I'll be giving you even more ways for you to make money online with your expertise. I want you to keep this in mind that creating a course requires some initial effort. You'll need to plan your content and record your videos and edit them. But once it's finished, you can provide ongoing income for years and years to come. So you'll have to sit down to record the content, create the content. If you're going to have slide presentations, you need to create that. Uh, if you're going to do a lot of tutorials, you'll need to go through and show your screen and record your screen. Some of the tools that you can use to record your screen are Loom, um, which is a really great one that I love. There's also Zoom, which you can just take your Zoom account, go ahead and just share your screen on Zoom and then take that video uh, recording and edit it into the your formatted video with your like talking head, which is what I'm doing here with the talking head video. Okay. So if you need more help on and ways on how to do that, you can go ahead and DM me on Instagram. If you prefer a more control, like hosted, like I said, then you're looking at your Kajabis and your Padias. Those are really great for, uh, making sure that you retain a larger part of your sale of your profits. And it's easy for you to manage customer experience all the way through. When you're utilizing platforms such as Udemy or Skillshare, you are basically utilizing the platforms that they're creating. You keep your content and intellectual property, the way that the design is handled, um, even some uh, facets of the way that the course is presented, it's all up to you to me to do that, right? So you're allowing that platform to basically showcase your content in the way that they want to. With Kajabi and Padia, you can have more control over the design, the way that it looks, the flow of the content, things to that effect. A lot of people don't tell you this as well. If you're going to put your plot, your course on platforms such as Skillshare or Udemy, you need to be graded SEO. Those platforms are really search based and you need to make sure that you're able to really do those keywords so that people are able to find your courses because if they can't find your course, they can't enroll in it. So you do need to be up on your SEO and your keywords to make sure that that search engine on Udemy really uh, elevates and profit and pushes up your course in the host of the others, right? So also remember building a community is key. When you create a course, you're not just sharing information, you're fostering a community of passionate learners who are interested in the same topics. This can open doors for networking, collaboration, and additional business opportunities. The really great thing about um, selling an online course or a tutorial around Canva is that Canva is pretty much just a template-based design tool, right? So folks that are looking to learn Canva are usually pretty they're at the basic editing stance. If you are a builder like I am, you're a creator, and you like to go into Canva, just like create things just from your own mind, or you have to do it because you are a social media manager and you create social media graphics, you pull together infographics, things that affect, really start to look at ways that you can take those and sell them to either companies or to your clients. So if you have one-on-one -on -one clients, you can also look at ways that you can bundle that into your services and sell them there as well. 
All right, so let's go ahead and take this a step further. Let's move on to number two, which is sell merchandise with Canva. So what you would do here is you would go into Canva, you would create a design, and then you can sell it. So you can sell a variety of different products from t-shirts and masks to digital items like desktop wallpapers or Canva templates. Platforms like Redbubble and Teespring make it easy to upload your designs and start selling without any upfront costs. Merchandising is a fantastic way to turn your designs into physical products. The best part, you don't have to handle any inventory, shipping, or logistics. Redbubble takes care of all of that for you. All you need to do is upload your designs and promote your shop. So you consider creating limited edition items. People love exclusivity and knowing something is available for a limited amount of time. Can you encourage them to buy during those times? Have to freaking lovely. <laughs> so seasonal products like holiday themed designs also create urgency. I've had a lot of success in creating around holiday themed designs. So you think Christmas, you think, you know, Christmas trees and ugly sweaters, you think um, Halloween, you think, you know, pumpkins and um, ghosts, right? Things to that effect. Where I have on my site here on my YouTube uh, channel, I should say, I've created a template in Canva where you can go in and you can create one of those spirit Halloween designs. And so I found this template template. I went ahead and I edited it to make it uh, easy to use. And I also put it inside of Canva. So now you can go into Canva and create your own spirit Halloween design around whatever the job is or the function is, right? These are really popular during um, the Halloween time. So what I find is that I always receive a couple of dollars around Halloween every single year. When you use this method, you turn it to the Mariah Carey of content monetization. And what I mean by that is that Every single Christmas time, Mariah Carey knows that she has an influx of dollars <laughs> that are coming her way because, of course, she has a popular song out during that time, right? So for the same thing goes for you. You want to have a popular product that you know every single holiday time, I'm going to get an influx of dollars because it's Christmas, it's Halloween, you know, and you you can tie your products into this, and I guarantee you, you will make a sale, okay? If you're able to tie it in and go and do the keyword research and find out what people actually want, I guarantee you, you can cash in on that. So like I said, seasonal products like hol holiday themed designs can create urgency, but don't forget about digital merchandise. So custom templates for Canva or design elements can be huge sellers. These items are easy to create and since they, they offer high profit margins, right? With just a little bit of effort. What's great about the digital products, and I absolutely love digital product before I will sell a, a merchandise, a physical product, but that's just me. Um, digital products are great. And platforms you can use for digital products are Gumroad, I absolutely love. I also love Podia to do this. Um, another platform that I hear a lot of people kind of raving about um, is the one that starts with um, an S. And I swear to you, I always forget the name of this one. Uh, I remember Stanstore. So Stanstore is another one that is a link in bio tool, but it also acts as its own like standalone website. So you can use Stanstore to sell digital products as well. Uh, if you guys want a separate video that goes deeply into creating digital products, different types of create digital products that you can create and platforms you can sell them on, go ahead and comment digital down below. And then I'll know that you want a video specifically on that topic. So that's it for this video, guys. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want even more ideas on how to make money online. I will see you all in the next video. Remember, it's time for you to get digital and get monetized. So return to this video, return to this channel. Make sure you like and subscribe here. Learn and get digital. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.